Welcome back to another episode of GCK Daily. Today, we'll be hearing about the enemy's plight to keep us from eternal life. The Bible does not forget to tell us that we have an enemy who seeks to kill, to destroy, and to steal from us. You know, you have the victory over him and sin through the resurrection of Jesus Christ. Receive your victory now. You are triumphant. You're made new. You're born again. Let me tell you one secret you may not know. Satan is called the devil. He has lost heaven because he was there at the archangel, Lucifer. Eventually he rebelled and he took one third of the angels with him. In the rebellion, he was cast out. And now hellfire is prepared for Satan and his angels. And he looks at man that Jesus Christ has come to take man from the earth to heaven. And whosoever shall call on the name of the Lord will be saved. His name will be in the book of life. He'll get to heaven. And so Satan says, where I cannot get to, look at that poor man, look at that ordinary woman, look at that boy, look at that girl, is going to get to heaven where he could not get to. Therefore, he will himself or by his evil spirit or by the men that are working for him, tell the people that want to get to heaven to shut up. He has men in authority. He has men of power. He has women of dignity. He has women and men that are popular and they will use their popularity and say shut up it's not them it's the satan is to get him them who is not going to get to heaven and he wants you to shut up you will not shut up when the Lord says, okay, raise up your hand now, and if you want Jesus as your Savior, that's the only name that can save you, you whisper in your mind there, don't do it today, because he's not going there, and he's jealous of you that you are going there. I am going to heaven. I am going to heaven, and therefore Satan will not shut you up. Am I talking to somebody here tonight? Where is the person I'm talking to there? You will get to heaven. Mercy will come to you. But when they told him, hold your peace, he cried the more a great deal. Thou son of David, have mercy on me. Look at verse 49. In verse 49, and Jesus stood still and he commanded him to be called and they called the blind man saying unto him, be of good comfort, rise he calleth thee. And I come to tell you tonight, be of good comfort, be happy, be joyful. Christ is calling you. I going to heaven. What profound words the man of God just ministered to us right now. I am going to heaven. I can only imagine what the alternative would be like if God did not love the world so much that he gave his only begotten son to save me and to save you and to trample on every tongue that would ever accuse me. My friend, that reality stirs in my heart every time to think if God had not loved me or any of us, we would be without this gift of salvation. You know, despite the fact that God saved me, what really overwhelms me is his unchanging character. The Bible says that God is holy and it also says that God is love. This means that God's holiness is not separate from his love. God's love is not separate from his holiness. In God's perfect nature, his perfect kindness, in his perfect holiness, and his perfect love, he saved us. He has kept us 
and will continue to keep us. You know, I love that song that says, no power of hell, no scheme of man could ever pluck me from his hands till he returns or calls me home. This is the power of Christ in me. So friends, we serve a living God who is love, created us from love to be loved and to love. So please listen and be assured Christ's resurrection power can and will keep you from the darts of the enemy. Christ is going to touch you. Christ is going to forgive you. And then in verse 50, in verse 50 we're told, and he casting away his garment, rose, and came to Jesus. You know, if you're not under somebody's skin, if you don't get into their mind, you will not be able to interpret their actions. You know, sometimes we judge people because we are trying to uh, judge their action. Why is he standing like that? Why is he kneeling like that? Why is he sitting down like that? Why is he shouting like that? We judge people because we're not inside them. We don't know why they're doing what they're doing. If you knew what they're doing. You'll not condemn anyone. If you know the way they are thinking, if you know the direction they are going, you will not judge anyone or criticize anyone. You'll not criticize anybody anymore. I said you will not criticize anybody anymore. Now, I will not criticize, but I'm yours. I'm going to ask him now, but I'm yours. Jesus didn't say, cast away your garment. What Jesus said is call him, let him come to me. Why? Are you behaving? Is that not fanatical? And then you take your garment and you throw Throw it away. He said, no, it's not fanatical. Okay, tell me. That garment, you know, the people who are blind, that's the kind of dress they wear. Like, for example, now if you see a traffic man, there's something he wears when he stands on the road and the car is coming and light shines on that garment. It will spot it up very clearly. It's a special garment. And the blind people at that time, they wore that kind of special dress so that whoever saw them will say, okay, that's a blind man. Make way for him to pass. That's a blind man. Tell him there's a ditch here because he cannot see. But the man, when they say Jesus is calling you, he said, mercy has come for me. And mercy has come for you. He said, my sight has come. His, his eyes were say blind, but he said, Jesus, the one that opens the eyes of the blind is calling you. The one that heals the sick is calling you. The one that works miracle is calling you. He said, I'm going to the miracle worker. I'm going to the one that will open my eyes and therefore the garment that showed that he was blind. He said, I will not need this garment, the identification of a blind man anymore. That's why he cast away his garment and he rose and came to Jesus. He was sure, like you're sure tonight, mercy has come for you. Healing has come for you. Deliverance has come for you. And your strength has come in Jesus' name. Hello, friends. This is Paul Balash, and you're watching GCK Daily with Dr. Kumuyi. Keep on standing. I'll pray for you, Father. All these have raised up their hands, asking for your forgiveness, asking for your salvation. I ask, oh Lord, According to your promise, forgive them in Jesus' name. Lord, I pray that you give them the joy of salvation and you grant them the faith that believes that as they have come, you will not cast them away. Lord, perform that which you have promised. Thank you, Lord. They are forgiven. Thank you, Lord. They are saved. Thank you, Lord. Now they have eternal life through the Lord Jesus Christ, their Savior. Confirm it in every life. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 
up your hand to lay the other hand where you have the problem when you hear the final amen it's done father in jesus name your loving god mighty god wonder walking god lord your people are expecting from you and i'm asking touch everyone heal everyone tonight in jesus name Lord, from the top of the head to the tip of the toe, any problem, any challenge, any pain, any sickness, any disease, I command, come out in Jesus' name. That insanity, evil spirit, to mention the mind, to mention the head, I command that evil spirit, come out now in Jesus' name. Those blind eyes, I command you now, be opened and begin to see in Jesus' name. Deaf ears, dumb tongues, I pray the hand of the Lord will touch you right now. Deaf ears, be opened and begin to hear in Jesus' name. Dumb tongues, be loose and speak out well in Jesus' name. The goiter. The fibroid, the ania, the elephantiasis, whatever is swollen your body, that boil, be healed in Jesus' name. Do something pile or issue of blood, I pray the Lord touch you right now. You are healed in Jesus' name. Arthritis in your joints, shoulder, elbow, knees waste lord i pray you touch them right now heal them heal them touch them and bring total healing in their bodies in jesus name i pray for those who have stroke i pray the power of god will touch your life right now be healed in jesus name I pray for those who are lame, paralyzed on the wheelchair, or lying on the ground. I pray the power of God will touch you now. Rise up and walk in Jesus' name. Lord, those who have evil spirit, evil personalities, tormenting them, I command those personalities get out of their bodies in Jesus' name. Everywhere now, miracle. Everywhere, healing. Everywhere, deliverance everywhere wonders of christ wonders of the lord upon everyone right left center outside far away there online everywhere we're connected now miracle in your life healing in your life deliverance in your life lord a performance now a confirmation now that as we say this final amen it will be done in jesus name we pray it is done i said it is done check up yourself your miracle is right there we place you on the highest place for you are the great high priest we place you high above high above all else, all else. and we come your feet let's place him on the highest place we place you on the highest place for you are the great high priest we place you high above high above
Praise the Lord, everyone. We thank God for the conclusion of this episode and we trust our living God that you have been blessed today. So please feel free to reach out to us with your prayer requests and your testimonies via our social media handles. Our website is gckhq.org. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And as we close today, I pray that you will go in the strength of the Lord enjoying and abiding in the sweet rest of his own and wavering heart.